Welcome back everyone to Vice City. Grand Theft Auto Vice City to be specific. And yeah, I think we're um I think we're doing the Kaufman Cab missions for for the Kaufman Cab business. Kaufman being the British word for Kaufman. Uh, yeah, really. Okay, I got it. Car 13 out. Uh, let me just uh, make a very quick adjustment to my setup here because it's flickering through. Nice. There we go. Sweet. Let's go. I guess we're um I guess we're picking up Mercedes Cortez. I don't quite remember this mission, but clearly it's a thing, so <laughs> I'm sure it'll come flooding back to me before long. Oh, hello. Physics. I like how the t this this cab basically steers itself. Like if you break and turn. Oh, I remember this. This is a, this is an ambush. For anyone who's watching, which I think is nobody, which is a shame. But if anybody was watching, we're going to do um, we're going to do a pretty neat we're going to do a pretty neat trick. Because uh, we're about to get ambushed by a bunch of cabs. It's so easy, so easy to bait them. All you gotta do is come over here. Jump out of the cab, run, jump. They're now just gonna pile themselves into this corner. Oh, fuck off. That should not happen. That should not happen. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> Bollocks. Absolute nonsense. Okay. They should have baited themselves into that corner, but somehow one of them managed to get up over the fucking... That's it. I've never seen that happen. Let's try that again, shall we? So let's try this again. Hmm, no sign of Mercedes. One does have to ask oneself what Mercedes would be doing in the middle of an industrial estate. But uh, I think what may have happened is I may have parked my cab too close and... Um, Wow. You really got to go quick, eh? They are so aggressive. I, sh I parked further away because I figured maybe my cab was okay, what allowed I him to, it. like, ramp Part up onto the out. thing. But, um, no, I think, I think the original strategy was better. But in theory, I should be able to bait them all into that corner. I've seen other people do it, and it looks easy. Somehow I just keep getting run over, but uh, 
Let's try it again. One day, I'm going to learn to be good enough at these games to try and uh, do them quickly, but... Right now, it's all theory and no execution for me. Santa Mercedes. We're going to run all the way back here. There we go. Because I knew that would happen again. Um, now we can just fucking M4 the cons. Sorry, uh, well, he fell off anyway. I shouldn't use these C word. It's not, uh, it's not the best word. Oh, hello. Yep, now they're all going like dominoes, you see. Bye bye. There's a timer. Well, we got that fine. I didn't realize there was a timer. I think we've got to bait him out. Hello, Steve. People, I'm pretty sure nobody is tuning in for the stream. I'm pretty sure it's another one of those streams that's just getting lost to the void for some reason. God, I'm running out of stamina. I'm going to die. You can run, Tommy. Please. Please. Can you just like, can we just grab him from here? The M60's got such bad recoil. Snipe him, maybe. Making it look easy. Kaufman Cabs is done. It's actually a very short mission chain, that, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> well, I had actually died three times before you joined, Steve, but thank you. I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Um, <laughs> you know. Thank you for all these terrible vehicle spawns. I, I love that. Group sex? Lol. And I'll just take the goddamn van.
We'll take the pony pony. <laughs> we don't have enough money to unlock the Malibu Club. And... How many assets have we done? So we've done the boatyard, we've done ice cream, we've done... Uh... Kaufman Cabs. Did we do one more? Oh, we could do the film studios. Those are good missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prawn Island, here we come. We'll do the film studios and then we should hopefully have enough money to do the Malibu Club and then the print works and then we finish the game. In theory, I think. There is a way to farm money in this game, which I've never done before, and we may try that as well. Should we not have enough money to buy the uh, Malibu Club? We could do pole position, but that's just such a stupid way to get five assets that uh, I refuse on principle <laughs> to cut out good missions just to do the fucking pole position club. Steve! Tell people that I'm streaming. Nobody's here. Get them all on the blower. Get 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 pill on the line. Get um. Get get everybody on the line. Get them all. I hope we have enough money to do, um... Yeah, easy peasy. It's just drained all of our cash, though. Everybody listens to you, Steve. Put it in, put it in Discord. Here are some fun facts about the movie studios. No, fact number one, or rather we're just doing the tour really. Uh, naval ship. It's not really a fact, it's just there. However, fact number two, the moon landing was faked as evidenced by this set of the moon landing. See, look how many suns they've placed around. That's the way they went wrong. Like, why was Nelly Armstrong casting seven shadows? Well, because there were seven lights. But, thank you very much for the M4 ammo. Fact number three, this stage is empty. Uh, fact number four. This set is... The map from Grand Theft Auto 3, but with, obviously, it's head cut off. I never realized that for the longest time. But yeah, if you go into GTA 3, it's, um, it's Times Square in GTA 3, basically. Bolt Burgers, 100% cow. Which is slightly anachronistic, because you've got, like, the advertisements for Fanny and Arnold Stallone's Top Down City. Which are all like in GTA 3, which is set in the year 2000. And this is saying, what, like 1987 or something? So either Badfellas and Top Down City were so popular that they just stayed relevant for two decades, pretty much. Or they just copy pasted it because, you know, game dev. This guy always reminds me of Commander Wolf from. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> he just kind of looks like him. Anyway. There you go. Uh, do I have any other facts? Oh yes, fact number five. Cactus and phone box. 
It could be, well, yes, Klingon anyway. It looks like a Klingon, I guess. It's the forehead that does it. Thank you, Steve, for bringing people, Whoa. real people, to my stream. Now that's big. <laughs> 12 inches. That is regulation, baby. You take a single day off from streaming, even for very good personal, personal reasons, and Twitch will be you, like, fuck no, nobody's space. coming to your streams anymore. Doesn't tell anybody, Damn doesn't notify anybody. It just actively punishes you for having go. a good work-life balance. This business, you prick? Huh? Twitch, is, well, Twitch is toxic, man. <laughs> what is this? This is my art security oh you did get an alert fair enough asshole. i, I guess people now. just don't care anymore, I own which is fair. we're gonna turn this place around i'm gonna make you rich uh you're you you're tommy Vassetti, how many people think this um That's director right. guy looks a bit like zach some changes around here and start making some real money Actually, it looks a lot like zach you ever thought about um but first we're gonna need some good looking bro yeah girls are fine but you whew, wow <laughs> This is some free art crap. Jeez, like anyone ever watched movies about uh, fish? Klingons could include uh, Commander Worf, Commander Kern, uh, Gowron, uh, Klang, uh, Kaleth. Uh, does Bologna Torres count? Um, uh, Doc Brown from Back to the Future, he was a Klingon. Um, uh, see, I can name Kl I can name at least at least four. <laughs> Stop asking me mental questions at this time of the of the day. My, my brain's not in it. Can you not tell I'm high on opium right now? Jesus. Where are we going? Go watch yourself. Don't think we want a pony for this mission. I think we want something fast. Oh, they. Excuse me, I just need to relieve you of your car. Thank you, thank you. Oh, obviously, Alexander. The Dora sisters. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I'm sorry. Martok. How could you forget Martok? Yo, Candy. I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? I'm looking for movie sure. talent. You interested? But you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Yeah, Alexander is Wolf's son, if I recall. Oh, you're just going to conveniently stop. Nice, fair enough. I'll just mow you all down then, why not? Oh, you drove off. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. What I don't understand is every time this car stops, three dudes will get out of it. But how many people can you fit in, like, a four-door BMW, re realistically speaking? Like, it has, like, an infinite number of guys who will get out of it. Well, not anymore, because he's about to die. Goodbye! How terrible was Worf as a father on a scale of 1 to 1,000? I will accept numbers up to 9,999. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, <laughs> shockingly bad. Like both as a human parent and a Klingon parent, like he fails in, on both counts. Like he, he's 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 not he's not in one camp or the other, is he? He's like, I guess we have to be on foot. Come on, let's go. 
He's like, he could have gone all Klingon. And just, um, oh god, I'm gonna get busted. Go away. He could have gone all Klingon, right? And just did the full Klingon school and just like the full, you know, you must kill your enemies and all that stuff. And while it may not have been the human way to bring up a small child, it would have been perfectly valid. Or he could have gone full human and just actually been a good parent. And he was neither of those things. Like he was somehow terrible at both. 55 burgers, 55 fries and 55 pizzas. That is, that is terrible. That is, oh god, why did the camera angle change? It's not massively surprising that um, Alexander grew up to have uh, issues. Look at that man. Hey Mercedes. Hey Tommy, you want a party? How did Tommy know that Mercedes was buying pizza at this particular pizza restaurant? On the other side of town from where she lives. She lives closer to a pizza restaurant than this one. Oh yeah, good luck by the way, getting these two out of the door. The fucking AI is shocking, like... Wow, they they went out first. We've only got a two-door car, though. Need a four-door. That's a two-door, that's a van. Van will do. Okay, maybe not. It's a two-door. Two-door. I own this taxi. Thank you very much. God, the cops again. Yeah, man, like Wolf was playing hot potato with that kid. I don't even know where he went in the end. He just disappeared. And then he came back in Deep Space Nine for like one episode. Like absolute hot potato. Like he wanted nothing to do with that child. Nothing to do with him. Well, I mean, yeah, of course he was a terrible Klingon because he wasn't brought up as a Klingon or a human. He was just brought up as a... I don't know. Whoa. Just a, a random Klingon who was sent to live in Minsk. <clears throat> Dildo Dodo. One of the most infamously terrible missions. I mean, it's a fun mission, but it's difficult. Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow Fantastic. we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <gasps> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras... Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy. I, I have I no idea trailer. about the conception or the birth, like, and I don't really want to know either, to be honest. So in this mission, forget about it. We have to take this seaplane, which has a limited amount of um, fuel. And we have to fly into the blue checkpoint and each blue checkpoint has a corresponding red checkpoint. So when we go into the blue checkpoint, we start dropping flies and then when we're going to the red checkpoint we stop again and then we go to the next blue checkpoint and so on and so on so it's um
It's a flying skill mission, basically. We've just got to hit all the checkpoints before the time runs out. The problem is this plane just controls like absolute garbage. And, um... We're, like, constantly weaving in and out of obstacles. But this isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> But we should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. The nice, well, the nice thing about the hitbox, the, it, the, well, they have a generous hitbox, I should say. So these markers are quite generous. Um, so you don't have to exactly hit the middle of them. Like if I touch the corner of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proven wrong, um, but you know what I mean. When you get yourself messed up, that's when you have problems. Oh god. Okay. And because it's a seaplane, if I land it on the ground, I'm basically in trouble because... It's almost, almost impossible to take off again if you land it on ground. You might get away with it if you're on like a nice, straight, easy road. Hello, healer. Okay, there we go. Nice. Fun fact as well, a lot of people don't leave the throttle down on this mission. They just kind of fly. Um... Well, they, like, they, they, they kind of tap the throttle and they do things to, like, try and conserve fuel, which makes it even harder to control. However, it's worth noting that in the game logic, the skimmer fuel is literally just a timer. So it makes zero difference whether you're just constantly on full throttle or no throttle. The timer will go down in exactly the same amount of time. It's just it's just a fancy way of pretend, just pretending a timer is something else, but it's literally just a timer. You basically just have fixed time to do this. So the best thing to do is just keep the throttle on, because it just makes it easier to control. This one... ...is quite tough. Nice, easy peasy. We had, we had like half the time left for that. I'm making this game look easy, my friends. Making it look too easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Tommy. Sonny. Obviously, you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Sonny Ferrelli is upset. I mean, I don't know why. I can't quite imagine why Sonny is quite as upset as he is, but there you go, I guess. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... I probably did oversell that. it. Just, just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem oh, on the yeah. phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the yeah. more fleshy oh, yeah. aspects of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Candy, okay, you know, Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything Bob. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm yes. not the worst person at Grand Theft Auto games, yeah. but... Yes. Yeah, oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Got that. Was that part of the, uh, I probably did oversell it a little bit. I can never tell. Anyway, 
It's hard to tell unless unless Morgan plays it. Seeks so. <laughs> lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. So the plan. Yeah, I think she's got restless leg syndrome. It's true. We've just got to follow Candy's limo back to Congressman Shrub, Shrub's place and then take some pictures. And assuming we execute everything correctly, it shouldn't be that difficult, but... It's a good start for the limo driver. Yikes, he spikes, he's... The only trouble with missions like this is they're not terribly exciting, right? You just kind of just got to wait for something to happen. It's kind of like, eh, fine, I guess, but... Yeah, it's it's a nice chill mission, I guess. Candy, could you call me Martha? Could you call me Martha? I mean Martha. Whatever you say. Now, the best way to do this mission, if I recall, is to. This is the wrong building. I want the one across the road. Across the road. The one next door, I should say. I don't know why Tommy sprints so much faster than Claude in GTA 3. It's crazy. Is this the wrong building as well? Yikes. Okay. Expert gamer guys doing expert gaming. He really does run ridiculously fast. Like, Claude runs at a sensible speed, and CJ runs at a sensible speed, which you can kind of upgrade through stamina and all that stuff. And then Tommy's just, like, fucking... He's on speed, man. Like, just absolute rocket fuel. Um, like, absolutely no problems whatsoever.
Oh, Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. Five star wanted level, top geckers. You, give me that camera. I'm like hitting, I'm hitting the fucking terrain, Jesus. Oh, hello boys. God, how much health have you got? Okay, cool. Um... Now we just leg it to the sparrow that I parked half a fucking mile away because reasons. Oh, have they despawned it? I think they despawned my sparrow. Love it. Top keckers. Pog champ. Right, let's find another car then, I guess. I mean, yes, but also it's just good practice to just use the M4 like that. Mostly that kind of works, like, um... Oh, Jesus, just get me in the car, in the car. Oh, hello. Oh, we need to find a fucking plane spray quickly. Oh, FBI just camped outside it, nice. But yeah, the one thing that these early games sorely lack is a cover system. Therefore... Why are you spike stripping me? I've been to the pain spray. It's just, pull it. just the cops just spike stripping innocent people for no reason. Popped all four of my tires. That's my time machine. It's mine now. You think I'm crazy? Wait. Boom, headshot. Where are we? The cover system in GTA 5. I mean, uh Isn't it just the same as GTA 4 and Red Dead 2 and so on? And Red Dead 1, I guess. What the fuck's happening up there? What? What? This is another thing that people blame Definitive Edition for, but this actually happens in vanilla as well. I've seen videos of it, but it's incredibly rare. This is like a super rare bug. Where what happens is the car just snaps to like a path that is designed for like aircraft or something else. Like it's not supposed to be up there, obviously. But yes, I don't think I've ever seen that bug happen. I saw, we, it happened in GTA 3 a couple of times when we played that, weirdly enough. It seems to happen to me a lot these days. Anyway, um, it's happened again. 
Or is that just the same car? What? It, when we shoot it, it should just fall to the ground. It's not Kekas. <laughs> Look, I need your car to drive to my movie studio, which is over here, okay? You saved me a long walk, lady. Actually, I do need to save the game, kind of. I need health and armor, in fairness, so... Let's go to ammu ammunition. Or we could go to the Vassetti estate, whichever's closest. Uh, there's an ammunition in the mall, which, so let's just go there. What's your favourite shuttlecraft? Is it the Type 1, Type 2 or the runabout? Let me know in the comments. Obscure answers welcome. Amu Nation, where we get our Amu. Big and beautiful, that's me. Check out the bulge on that guy. Wow. Thank you, uh, lady, whoever you are. Uh <laughs> you better relax. Did she just say, better relax and think of England? What an odd thing to say. Type 9 shuttlecraft. Which one was the Type 9 shuttlecraft? Oh, you could throw the Delta Flyer into this list as well, I suppose. Oh yeah, I know the one you mean. I thought that was like a Type 2 shortcraft. Am I going crazy? I guess why would it be Type 2 that late on? Class 2. That's what I'm thinking of. There you go. Okay, bye car. Fucking terrible car. struggle with this how do i get okay just turn around turn around They used to shoehorn half a dozen cadets into one of these things for weeks at a time. Right you didn't want to be around when they opened like up that airlock, Tom take. Paris. Can you not so funny. But Stevie... How's my star director? Oh man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Did he oh, say Andaconda? I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Mm. Well... In the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it, yeah. Do, it doesn't leave much to the imagination, does it? Limos, uh, I don't know whether I should have a content oh, warning yes, on this way. Of course, man. Does anyone remember the man, DLC for, um, for uh, GTA 4? I can't remember if it was Lost and Damned or Ballad of Gay Tony. Where... Um, where I think you're doing missions for some kind of politician or a congressman or someone like that. And you go and visit him at like some club and he's like in the sauna and he's basically just bollock naked giving you the mission. 
And then every single camera shot is designed so that you obviously don't see anything below the waist. So it's obvious he's naked, but you don't see anything. Like, to the point they were making it painfully obvious they were, like, trying not to show his genitals. And then in the very last shot of the cutscene, they just show everything. <laughs> they just do a full frontal fucking... It's so funny. It's such a stupid joke, but it was so, it was really funny. <coughs> this mission is a barrel of laughs, so let's have fun with this one. Um... We've basically got to, we've basically got to traverse half of the island via rooftop. Via this office block. Because apparently that's the easiest way to to get to this spotlight. Even though there is a convenient ladder that just magically drops down when you get there. Although I guess arguably you could say Tommy dropped it down, but anyway. But yes, look at this fabulous 1980s office. Although it's weird that everyone's kind of running... Who knows what they're running on those computers? The textures are so terrible, that's anybody's fucking guess. I watched a fabulous video on YouTube today about a guy who... Um, was basically backported .NET 3.5 to Windows 95 so that a bunch of applications could run on Windows 95. I have no idea how he managed to make such a dry subject so entertaining, but it was an absolute riot. Um, oh, okay, that's fucked already. Bye-bye! <laughs> wow. Pay attention. Yeah, I, like, I can't remember the name of the guy. Um... But um, I'm going to put it on Discord in a bit, yeah. I, I've, I've been meaning to do it, I've just been a bit. Uh, keeping myself to myself lately. But um, but yeah, it's... Um, it was so funny. I, like, he turned into this whole film noir thing, and he was, like, trying to uncover the clues as to what was going wrong, and... The only, the only thing I didn't like about the video is he showed, like, two apps running at the end. But the, the fact that this now exists, and I, and I hope to God that he releases it on GitHub or something. Maybe he already has, because I would be all about installing .NET 3.5 on Windows 95 and using that as my daily driver again. Because I won't be able to run everything, but I'd be able to run enough modern stuff that I could potentially get away with using Windows 95 as my uh, main operating system again, which would be an absolutely wild thing to do. And I wouldn't recommend doing that to anyone. Uh, oh, you just magically teleport there. Cutscene doesn't happen again. Cool. Excuse me, lady. Thank you very much. I swear to God I can do this. I just need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Not go too fast and shit like that. Um, slow and steady kind of wins the race on this because there's uh, there's no timer or anything. Oh, well, there is technically a timer. We have until like sun sunrise to get it done, but it's only like eight o'clock at night. Like there's plenty of time. Nice. Mm -hmm.
I overshot that, but that's fine. We've unlocked the next shortcut, so that's cool. And some body armor. Lovely. Could use that, actually, but I don't know if I can get off the bike. I think I must be able to get off the bike. Because how else could I fall off the bike and get back on it? Cool. You ride a bike, Morgan? Why is tiptoeing a bike backwards fun? I mean, I'm not doubting it. It just seems like a... It just seems like an odd thing to call fun, that's all. I'm doing surprisingly well at this point, shockingly enough. Who, who would have thunk it? Watch this ladder magically drop down. Lovely stuff. Oh, you're being sarcastic. I see. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like the most exciting thing to do. <laughs> oh my god. Boobies. Are we allowed to show these boobies? What is lane splitting exactly? From an ignorant non-driver. Okay, bye-bye! <laughs> Shit. Okay. So... We are at the point where... Well, one, I should go and collect all of the funds. But two, we don't have nearly enough money to buy the Malibu Club. So we may try that farming technique I've never done before. I'm going to guess that by the time I've gone around all of my businesses and collected all my money, that I still won't have anywhere near enough. Um, so let's... Uh Stop the 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 Ville City estate. Bypassing traffic on a motorcycle by riding between car traffic. I mean bikes do that here all the time. But why would car drivers be mad about that? Because car drivers don't mind, do they? They don't they hate that, do they not? Or is it just it makes everything slower because now there's more traffic that has to queue up? Yeah, and uh, yeah, riding a bike is really fucking dangerous anyway, <laughs> so... Packing more wheat than you, my son. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel like I'm done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. 
I can already tell we're not going to have nearly enough. We have $47,000 and we need 120000 to buy the Malibu Club. Does this technically count as lane splitting? Just driving on pavements? <laughs> Well, the nice thing about GTA is uh, mo the cops largely don't care about the vast majority of demeanors and misdemeanors. Unless you do something specifically to affront the cops themselves, they'll generally let you get away with blue murder. What's the difference between murder and blue murder? I've never understood that. Hello, Mikey. I always ride on the sidewalk. So, you are always here, but you do not always appear, you see. There's a, there's a subtle but distinct difference between the two. You're like hiding in the bushes. I nearly got screwed over there. Okay, let's um, let's look at this farm. Danny, do you want me to buy the headphones they are advertising to me? What ed? Did I get my words right? What headphones are they advertising to you? I can personally very highly recommend these ones, which um, were a godsend on the flight to San Francisco and back, um, but they don't have a microphone. Uh, the the noise cancelling like headphone headphones. Uh, razors. I mean, I don't know. It depends. Do you want them? Then buy them. <laughs> An Amazon gift card and one statue of no for your shares of the company. Wow, lowballed. Absolutely lowballed. Shocking stuff. Um. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. $40 for a pair of Turtle Beach every five years. The true Dollar Tree way to be a gamer. That's living the dream.
See, all these guides are terrible. There's a speed run way of doing it. There's a particular mission. Which I kind of know of. It's like a multi-story car Please, park, like general. tone slalom thing. But it's, um, I just don't know where it is. Okay, I know where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Let's try and find it without any more help. Because I don't like to read guides and things, traditionally. I just didn't want to be, like, wandering around Vice City for, like, two hours like a tit, trying to find it. Why isn't Tommy Vazetti's shirt flapping? Well, because it is flapping. It should flap, it's in the wind. It's a, that's a good detail, isn't it? Where is helmet? He doesn't need a helmet. Look at this coiffeur. That is basically all the protection you need. He's got that much product in his hair. His hair is rock solid. Like, his hair doesn't wave in the wind. His shirt does. I think it's this place we want to go to. He doesn't need gloves because he's a man's man. Oh. Maybe this isn't the correct car park? No, I think this is the correct car park. Oh, good. The vehicle I need just hasn't spawned because stuff and reasons. Wee. Oh, it's got to hurt. He landed on it. Not definitive reasons, I think it might be a time of day reason. Um, so I'm just going to save the game and come back. Jesus, Tommy, stop it. Book of the Month, Fly Capture, Insect Espionage. Does Flycatcher Insect Espionage sound like a great book to anybody else, or is it just me? Ten Tenerifia, 299. Edinburgh, 699. Why is, why, is, why is America to Tenerife so much cheaper than America to Edinburgh? Fucking wild. Wayland surfboards. Everything must go. Going out of business sale sale. How does a surfboard business go out of sale in Miami? It's like the one surefire thing you can... And also, I think the problem may have something to do with these refrigerators that are selling like cornflakes and eggs and shit. Um, not really what you come to a surfboard shop for, but... Still, you, you would think that would be the one surefire way 
to make money in Miami would be to sell surfboards. The one place everybody comes to surf, as far as I recall. <clears throat> Surfing a West Coast thing? Where is Miami? Is it... It's not on the East Coast, is it? Is it kind of like in the south somewhere? Forgive my ignorance. Maybe it's this car park. I genuinely don't remember. You can always check it. The southern tip of Florida. But where's Florida? I know that's a very big statement. Where's Florida? Oh no, this is the shopping mall. We don't want to be here. All right, well, I guess we figured out why that uh, surfboarding business was going out of sale. He's on the wrong... Uh, he's on the wrong part of the country. <laughs> he's probably moving up shop to go to Los Angeles or something like that, I guess. How have I lost the multi-story car park? There it is. So people do surf in Miami. I'm not going crazy. Where was Baywatch set? Was that in Miami? California, okay. There we go. It was a time of day thing. Sweet, so apparently... Back straight here. What's this mission called? Cone Crazy. Hello, uh, hello again. Oh, hey, hi. Where's, where's, where's hi? I thought you were saying hi. So this is apparently quite technically complex to do. So I don't know. So apparently we've got to reverse into the first Corona. Then we've got to go forwards, take a left towards the second and third Coronas that are near the edge. Climb on the right side. Okay. Climb down and get the th fourth Corona. Then get the fifth one. And then just take the car back to where you found it. 
and then you can do the mission over and over and over again and get money that way. Okay, that sounds... Easy enough, I guess. We'll give it a try and see how this works. We need to get that one last so we can get back to the, to the spawn point. Okay. Reverse to get... Oh. Okay, that's... Uh, that's not how that works. Okay. Uh... Will it let me start the mission again? Sweet! Well, that I've, I've, I've not done that correctly straight away. It's exactly what we wanted. Lovely stuff. Um, right, let's, uh, let's go away and come back. So there is a technique to this that I'm going to have to learn. It's not as easy as it sounds. Um, it looks like you have to do it in a very specific order and get a car to a very specific spot before the timer runs out. And you can't hit the cones, obviously, because that's just the mission. Um, so. And the car's just gone now. Let's load up our game that we saved. Um, so in theory, if you can learn this pattern, then I think not only could you just get the money for doing the mission every single time, apparently it like accumulates. So like every time you do it, it gets more and more and more. So you can very quickly kind of like build up the amount of money. But I'm really going to have to learn how to do this correctly. So. So, I'm going to watch somebody else do it, just as a kind of a get my, get my head around it. Because this guide on Steam is just not very clear. Hawaii. Oh, I see. Yes, I guess surfing in Hawaii is quite popular. Uh, so apparently you get into the car The mission starts. There are five checkpoints. Okay, so you don't reverse straight. Oh, oh, I see. You've kind of got to swing around and reverse. That makes sense. Okay. Then you go around the outside. All right, that makes sense. Yep, with it. Okay. You got an. Squeeze between those cones, easy enough. Uh, 
Oh, Jesus, that is tight. Don't like that. How do you even... The fuck? So you've got to sit and wait for the timer before you touch the final corona. I think. You've got to you've got to grab the final corona on zero seconds. And then you park up pretty much where the arrow is, and then it should go again, and then you rinse and repeat. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. Um Let me try and get my head around this. So basically what we've got to do It's this first one's going to take practice. We've kind of got to swing ourselves around here and then reverse into this one. Which starts the timer and then we've got to very quickly grab these two. Okay, and then this one should be easy enough. And then what we've got to do is we've got to like nudge the car between these two cones very gently. So our nose is like just touching that corona. And then we wait for zero seconds. And then apparently, if I then park this car here, like this, on this arrow, like that, I can start the mission again. It works! <laughs> and we can just do this over and over again and just get as much money as we want, apparently. There you go, I guess. Um, sure, why not? Um... No, it accumulates, Pill. Watch this next time we do it. It's doubled. And doubling every time, it will soon get very big. <laughs> so we'll get 800, and then we'll get a couple thousand, then we'll get like 2,000, and then 4,000, and 8,000, and 10,000, and then you're off to the races. So we've got to do it a few times, I admit, but... This should build up pretty quickly. And it's we're going to be way faster than like trying to like collect like $120,000 like the normal way. So while I admit it's not the most riveting content in the world, oh no. Okay, we got away with that for some reason. Fuck. I think that breaks the glitch. Um, I should have done it on zero seconds. Oh no, it still works. Fair enough. 
Um, I have no idea why they wait to zero seconds, maybe just for funsies. Um, there must be a reason. Maybe that just helps accumulate the... Maybe that's what doubles it. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. Ah, bollocks. Okay, it's reset my, um, it's reset my accumulator. I think that's why you have to wait to zero seconds. Because I've got to beat my best time every time to double it, so now I've got to... Ah, fuck. Okay. Maybe it's something like that. Because I should have done zero seconds, then one seconds, then two seconds, then three seconds, and then... So I've kind of fucked myself over a bit there, I think. But at least we've established this works in principle. Even if I've fucked it up in practice. Um... I wait to zero seconds now and it just gives me two hundred dollars and I think that's what's happening. Yeah, fuck. So let's go from like five seconds. And then like six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. And that should keep doubling it. Oh, oh take us back to where we were, if my theory is correct. Because I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand how this mission script works, without looking up too much. You have to do better every time, right? Like every time you beat your last personal score, I think it gives you more money. So that's why you wait until the timer is just about to run out, and then on the next go, you just do it ever so slightly quicker, and then ever so slightly quicker, and then it's not difficult to keep beating your own time. Whereas if I do it as quickly as I possibly can do it. I've just made it really hard to beat my own best time, do you know what I mean? So if I do this like within... What did I do when I fucked it up? Five seconds? So if I hit this at like six seconds... Like if I do it now... Yeah, there you go, look, I've just got $1,600 because I did it in eight seconds. So now I'm going to have to do it in nine seconds and ten seconds and I've just made life really hard for myself. But that's how it works. Because it's like giving me more money for beating my own best time every time. So what I need to do, so I need to, so what I need to do really is, if I hit eight again, it would be a millisecond thing. So maybe, maybe not. I could, let's try that. Let's let's hit eight seconds again and see what happens. I guess. And if that is the case, then I'm just going to have to make sure I hit eight seconds every time. But eventually, I'm going to have to go to nine and then ten and so on and so on. But every time I beat my best score, it doubles, is, is the way that seems to work. Okay. That was eight seconds, but I was very quick on the eight seconds, so let's try eight seconds again and see what happens.
Hello. Ah, box. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm out of the game now. Okay, it's letting me um, do it again. Fair enough. So I guess we get infinite retries, so that's fine. So the only real fuck up I've made is is by um, going too far forward and not giving myself enough time. I think you get less time every time. But I did that in like seven seconds and it gave me $6,400. I still don't quite understand. Like, I feel like I'm getting less time all of a sudden. Or maybe I'm just being bad at the game all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm definitely getting less time every time, which is why I should be hitting zero seconds. I think as well, because I think every time I do better and better, it just like shortens the amount of time I've got. So I've kind of done goofed on this, but at least we've established that it works as a in principle. And it's kind of working like we're at $70,000 already. I think if I'd kept hitting it at zero seconds, it wouldn't keep um making it harder and harder for me because it's probably like oh you can do it in so many seconds so I'm going to take so many seconds away from your time or whatever might be the way it works it's like now I can barely fucking get to this first marker fucking wild okay bye car well that's the end of that game But I like that because we've, we've, we've established it works. So the only problem is I think that high score is global, right? As in when I go back there, it's going to remember what my best time is. And therefore I can either do one of two things. I can load that save again and we can try again from scratch. I'd not fuck it up this time. Or we just take the 20k that we've just made and then try and make the other, like, what are we on? We need to make 50,000 more some other way. I think we're going to have to load the game, you know, because trying to make 50k is going to take ages anyway. Is prostitution an option? I mean, for some people, I guess. But, I mean, you can't be a gigolo. No, I'm afraid it's not really in the game code, I'm afraid to say. I'm going to make an unpopular choice. I'm going to load the game and we're going to try again. But I think if we do it properly this time, it should, like, start to accumulate really quickly. Like, really, really quickly. As long as I don't fuck up. It might be a case of like equal or better than your best time. And if your best time is zero seconds, then you will always be at least equal with your best time. 
and it will always give you the double payout, but it won't shorten the time span. That might be the way it works. I'm not 100% sure. We're about to find out, I guess. So, let's pay attention to... Um, Let's pay attention to the amount of time the game gives us to do these coronas. So... Okay, we've got 11 seconds there. Which is like more than double what I was getting when I... Like, halved my best time. Which gives us 28 seconds out of there. We bang on that, and then we just need to go all the time in the world to nudge through here. We don't need to get too close, we can just wait here. When we do it a second time, let's do exactly the same thing again. So we had, what, 11 seconds when we did it the first time? Now we've got 10 seconds. Okay. Yikes. So we are losing a second now, I think. But we'll confirm that theory in a moment. Yeah, so now we've got $400. Cool. Now we should get $800 and so on and so on. Yeah, we only got nine seconds that time, so we are losing a second every single time we do it. So I don't fully understand the purpose of waiting to zero seconds, unless it's just the neatest way of making sure that you don't beat your... or that you always get at least as good a time, I guess? Unless it reduces the amount of time that each corona gives you as well. I'm not sure, but let's let's just keep going with this and see how much we can make before it gets too difficult to do, I guess. Because look, we're nearly back to where we were anyway. And the timer is nowhere near as tight. So I'm still not quite sure exactly how this works, but I think we've learned enough to kind of make some use out of it. We only really need to get to 120k, right? And it's soon going to accumulate, because like the next one we're going to get like over $3,000, I think, right? Thank you. 
The only problem is it started to rain. Which makes life really hard. Okay, it's five seconds per corona. I'm guessing at some stage it reduces the amount of time that the coronas will give you as well, which is probably why I goofed up. But this is now getting tighter. So we should get 6,400 this time. Which is getting very close to 10k. I just need to be quick out the gate and I think we'll be fine. Hello, Zach. How are you? What's double 6,400? Should we get in, like, nearly 13,000 uh, doubloons off this one, shouldn't we? we? Need to be quick, though. Go, 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 go! Jesus, this is tight now. Ooh! Alex, Smash the cone. Okay. We're pretty much back to where we were, at least. So... Without the craziness of having to get there in eight seconds, which is going to be impossible. That's why you need to do it in zero seconds, because as the timer gets less and less, the chances of you getting there in quicker time is, becomes impossible, right? So you always wait to zero seconds because it gives you the most amount of opportunity to double your money and double your money and double. It makes sense now. Nice! I think I understand this mission now. Every time you do it, the amount of time you get gets less and less, and you have to keep beating and beating your best score. So the best way to farm money is just to always wait till zero seconds, so you can always get a better score, and then you can double your money, and then you just keep going and going. And I don't think the time will ever get less than five seconds, right? I've flipped the fucking car. Guys, I've flipped the fucking car. Can I salvage this? Why did it only give me $200 that time? What's happened there? Did I do it in a quicker time at some point? I felt like, if anything, I was too early. Yeah, I've, I've clearly beaten zero seconds, so I'm probably going to have to, like, do it in 
Let's try two seconds. No, let's try one second, because doing it in two seconds if I don't need to is silly. Because at this point, every second counts. Okay, so it's not one second either. Because you're right, there isn't there isn't really a terrible amount of um, reason to like do this for two hundred dollars a time. It has to keep doubling, or it's not worth it. Yeah, so we, it's two seconds. I've somehow managed to screw myself into two seconds. But we got $25,000 out of that, so that's fine. We're actually just 2,000 away now, I think. I'm farming money, Zach. There's a, there's a bit of a glitch in this mission that allows you to, like, every time you beat your best score, it doubles the payout. But... So you can kind of exploit that to just kind of keep doing the mission over and over again. And um, make lots of money so that you can buy the Malibu Club. So that we can then beat the game. Because normally you're supposed to like make all your money through like the businesses and stuff and it just takes forever. Okay, now we're going to have to do it in three seconds I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get cash quick. I'm, it's a it's a cash grab scheme. It's a speedrun strat that allows you to grab money fast so that you can buy all the businesses and complete the game quicker. Is 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 the TLDR of what I'm trying to do? And I'm proud enough of myself to have been able to figure out how to do the strat. I just need to not do shit like that. And then, uh, hello, Morgan. Welcome back. It's not about farming. It's just one particular strat that I'm employing. It would take far longer to do it like the legitimate way. I've got to run out of time there. We're turning like two streams worth of just trying to farm money the slow way into half a stream's worth of doing it efficiently. Look at that. We've got enough money now already, that's how you do it. Let's go buy the Malibu Club. Let's go buy the Malibu Club. That's the power of doubling and doubling your money. That's why bookmakers are so popular, you know? It's the dream. Good news, Zach and everybody. The farming is over. It worked spectacularly well, actually. I'm glad I've learned how to do that because that's uh, that's going to be my... Uh, every time I play Vice City in the future, that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> that's sa that has saved us probably like a stream or two's worth of just dicking around, to be honest. Like, it's saved us so much time. Because now we should be able to just straight up buy the Malibu Club. Nice! Hi, 
Lovely stuff. Is the music playing? No? Good. It's one of those bring your own music parties, you know, like where you bring a pair of headphones. Uh, and then you just kind of like bop to your own beat. All the rage in the 80s. You know, the Walkman had just come out, so... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Danny, can I have 50,000 joysticks? Uh, well, yes, you just have to watch the streams and then you earn the joysticks and then you can spend them. You know, having unlimited joysticks is a perk that only staff members, I'm afraid, are entitled to. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. Zach, as you are an employee of Gamefront, you can have all the joysticks you like because you can just use the Gamefront account. <laughs> I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, that this is kind of like precursor to the GTA 5 heists, uh, this this whole mission chain. Transfer, I think he's about to get paroled. We're like putting together a heist team and then we like take we do a heist and stuff. Um Every time I get to five thousand I use them. Well that's that's because you've got no self control. You need more self-control, man. I can't be... I, I'm afraid, like, as you are now just a regular viewer, I can't be showing favoritism, I'm sorry. See? It's your own fault, you've redeemed it again. You've done it to yourself. If we go in the locker room... ...of this police station, we should be able to change into a cop uniform, because apparently the uh, cops don't question you walking into their conveniently placed changing rooms. Which allows us to just stroll feely about the cop station. I heard a jingle jingle. Resubscribed, not Morgan. A tier one sub, thank you. I need to sub to you, I feel guilty now. We should just neutralize each other. <laughs> Give each other uh, our money. I like the fact that one of the hidden packages, which is drugs by the way, is hidden in the police uh, constable's office. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Hello, Custody Sergeant. How are you? Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm that's me. You Whatever you say. You only have 548 sticks. You need more. Lose this and give me back to my place. Have they just popped my tire? They fucking popped my tire. They just popped my tire. Is Cam inside? Come on. What are you doing in here? Can we fucking leave now, please? I can't believe they insta popped my tire. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, now they popped all of my tires. Fucking love it. Lovely. Beautiful stuff. Where's the nearest fucking pain spray? Fucking miles away, isn't it? It's going to be ahead of us. Run the hell away from me. Just get fucking because that.
bollocks, man. Just fucking tell it to my door. Are you sure about that? <clears throat> just, just been tired. Tires when pops up would not have happened. You, you know what I mean? Like, okay. I think the weird memory issues are happening again. So I'm going to reboot the game before the stream dies this time. I think I I genuinely think this game has some kind of weird memory leak where after two hours it just fucking everything just starts to go crazy. Uh, if James wants to fight you in Street Fighter, that's entirely up to him. Is that what you want the joysticks for, so you could play the Adventure Base intro? I mean, I know you've got Crispy to do your dirty work for you, but is that what it was? It's weird that we didn't have any of these issues with GTA 3, though, which is why I don't understand. It could be one of the mods I've got on this that is causing the memory leak. Anyway, rebooting the game seems to fix it, so that's fine. There are some very, very odd noises going on in this locker room. I think it's like someone snoring, maybe? Very hard to tell. Oh, by the way, e Cola. Uh, GTA 5 vending machine there. Because uh, that's how you remaster a vending machine. <laughs> You know why E. Cola is funny? Because it sounds like Ebola. Fucking funny, isn't it? So funny. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. I mean, this is like Resident Evil 1 levels of voice acting right there. Super, like, riveting stuff. So this time my tires are intact, so everything's fine. Completely random. Where the fuck is Cam Jones gone? Will you please come out of the fucking police station? Fucking stay this thing. I'm getting the fucking car cam, thank you. Now I have intact tires, it's gonna be fine. As long as I can keep them unpopped, obviously. Ah, I can fucking drive into things properly. Fucking revolutionary stuff. I don't like the tire popping mechanic because it is genuine RNG, like it's just... Sometimes the mission might be easy and sometimes the mission might be hard, it's just entirely random number generation. Oh 
Okay, well, goodbye to that pole. I thought you've got gigabit now, haven't you, Zach? I like how you've got faster internet at your apartment than you do at work. Business broadband. Although I've noticed actually that business broadband tends to be like worse than domestic broadband for way more money. Just so you have like a dedicated customer service person that you can call. In case it all goes down. It's all about the fucking service level agreement. And it's like 78,000 times more expensive. This guy is so nonchalant. Cams can openers. If anyone can, cams can. Good stuff. Okay, cool. So that's stage one of the bank heist done. Is the sky really this pink in Miami, like during the sunset, or is this just like memes? It's the village people, by the way. Somebody tell me where to go. We need a stick up, man. You know one? Hey, Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick up, man. Stick him up, stick him up. You ain't a stick up, man. You're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. I think I hear 99 Luft balloons by Nina in the background, which, which is not copyright friendly. However, I'm hoping that it was quiet enough that we get away with it. We'll see. I suppose. Anyway, we've got to go and um, we've got to go and uh, help Phil Cassidy. If you remember Grand Theft Auto 3 and if you remember the mission with the guy with one arm and uh, he has a tank and all that business. I think we're about to learn how he get ended up with the one arm. <laughs> um, but anyway. I don't think there are any other GTA 3 characters in this game. Oh no, tell a lie, Donald Love is in it as well. And I guess El Burrow gets a mention, but uh... Like, they all pop up in San Andreas, but...
Okay, this is very copyright. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've just got to prove to Phil Cassidy we can shoot. Hands up, mother stickers. This is a fuck up. Noise. Okay, I remember this. This next section is a little bit um tricky. Because they can pop up in the side windows. Actually, speaking of Grand Theft Auto 3. Aim, three, two, one, fire! This is all the character art from GTA 3. Like, that's Misty. God, my fucking aim. I forget the name of the other guy. But yeah, these are GTA 3 characters. Or oh, it's GTA 3 artwork, I should say. Clear. I mean, we've already beaten the mission requirements, so we're just having fun at this point, I suppose. Yeah, this side window ones are quite hard, you know. Area clear. We're all good. Seventy-two <laughs> percent hit rate. Yikes. So, do you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. I think the Phil Cassidy missions might be separate to, uh, to this mission chain. And I don't think they're mandatory, so I'm not sure if we will do them or not. But we might because they were quite fun. Let's get some body armor while we're here. Oh, I see. You want to lose your net. Get to the payphone in Little Havana. Yo, sure, why not? Let's do the payphone missions. 
think this is the last payphone mission. Yeah, man, Phil Cassidy was a trendsetter, you know? He invented Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> Rude. Okay, bye, car. Oh, God, this mission is terrible. Oh, it's so hard. Yourself, pal. Jesus. Oh, mate. The worst thing about this mission is we're technically on a timer, but I don't know what the timer is. It's just when the helicopter arrives. I can kind of hear it in the distance, though. Are you two still alive? Come on. Do do do. Oh jeez, where the fuck did you come from? Okay, you know. Nah. Let's try that again. again.
Nice. Taking out the trash. I think I got an achievement for that. Fucking so many headshots flying off right now, it's ridiculous. Fucking hell. I knew there'd be one guy camped out between the ice cream boobies. You did what, man? Fucking hell, they just insta rinsed my health. Fuck. We got they existed. Fuck it all. I knew that was gonna happen. Just bullshit enemy spawns in this mission, like, survive. Good for you. It doesn't help that it's like night time and they're all wearing black as well. God, I forgot about you. Shit. Okay. Um... I was slightly confused about who was shooting me then. We get an angle on the guy between there. Oh, for fuck's sake.
wanted this. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. They're just they're just cheap camping spawns. Like they're not difficult. They're just um you just don't know they're there the first time you do it. So you have to fail the mission at least once to know those guys are hiding there. Uh <laughs> Like now I know about them. It's they're not they're not really a threat. You know what I mean? And then we've got to take the briefcase all the way to the airport, which, as you can see, is fucking miles away. I don't know how we'll ever get there. You know, was it necessary to do this trip by helicopter? Well, it's not even get good, because how are you supposed to know they're there? It's just a cheap... That's a cheap way of doing difficulty, right? Because... Yeah, fuck knows what's going on down here. I think that's like a same, the same phenomenon as the golf cart buggies because I think it does the same thing in the airport but instead of golf carts it does um, baggage handlers. Why am I getting out here, you may ask? Well, great news. I told myself, Mario, take it easy. In the basement of my mansion. What are you doing? In camera. Okay, move lads, we've got free health, free armor, free shotgun, and free M4 ammo. You gotta love it. Forget Boys, do you wanna just shift out of the fucking way? Good gravy. I got those clothes you wanted. What is that? What is going on today? Just crazy town. Give me a break. She's always giving me a hard time. Yeah, I think it I think I just did the same glitch as you can do with the with the with the golf carts, which is if you're in just the right spot, it will start to spawn traffic in the areas where it's supposed to spawn cargo um um luggage ba baggage handlers but you haven't quite hit where it changes traffic into baggage handlers so it'll just spawn normal traffic on the paths laid down for the baggage handlers it's quite funny you can do the same thing on the golf course like the golf course is right here actually so we'll see if we can trigger the same phenomenon where we might just see normal traffic driving around this golf course for no reason No, you see how it's it's spawning. Uh, see how it's spawning golf caddies. It's even spawning them on the normal roads. But if you can get in just the right position where we've got normal traffic spawn, so now normal traffic is back. So now, although there are still some fucking golf caddies there, now we might see some normal traffic on the fucking golf course, maybe. But you've got to be in just the right position, like triggering this glitch is actually quite hard to do. I guess I just got lucky with the baggage handlers. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, let us finish off the Malibu. Parks like a pro. You think you're invisible, bro? Things are starting yeah. to come oh, together nicely. Yeah, oh fucking music again, Jesus. 
Yeah, I kind of want to do San Andreas. This fucking music again. We've got to beat Cam Jones in a race to prove that we're worthy enough for his services. Even though he was perfectly fine about it earlier. So, you know, just bullshit reasons. We've got to do a race. I guess I'm doing San Andreas. San Andreas is a lot bigger than GTA 3 and GTA Vice City. Like, it's going to take a while to do San Andreas. Even with my world-class speedrunning techniques. It might be a multi-weaker. Okay. Okay. Why is this happening now? Um, Fucking pre-scripted obstacles. Easy done. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. Lovely stuff. Where's the door? Jesus. I think San Andreas is definitely the best one of the three, though. Like, it's the most... As you can see, gentlemen, this is well written. Be the like, good. It's got a good story. Tommy, it's got like. There's life. a lot of crap in it as well, but. Uh, what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors. Huh? Communism Calm was a simple down, plan right? that didn't do Russia any favors. Like you heard it here first, no folks. Problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive together. I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around. Is this copyright music? I can't tell what this song is. I guess we'll see how badly flagged this video right. gets. Great! A passenger! Wait till I tell the group about this. Time for the bank heist. So the key thing to remember about this mission is that all of the members of the heist are expendable, except for Phil. If Phil dies, the game is like, nope, Phil's dead. Hillary dies, it doesn't care. Cam dies, it doesn't care. I guess that's because those characters are never seen again. But anyway, uh, it is... Uh it is something to keep in mind. Keep 
driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Oh, Cam was the safe guy, wasn't he? That's why. So we had to we had to convince the safe guy, convince the stick up man. And the final mission was convincing uh Hillary to drive, I guess. El Banco Corrupto Grande. Doesn't that just mean like corrupt bank of Mexico or something like <laughs> Or oh, Cuba, I don't know. Oh, the Grand Corrupt Bank in Spanish. The big corrupt bank, yeah. Good stuff. This is a raid! <laughs> Hands up, mother stickers! This is a fuck up! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. The annoying thing is we kind of need to use the, uh, we need the bank manager, but you can't pick him up earlier. So, you know, reasons. Stick my foot so far up your ass. Yeah, why, why, I don't know why they're using real names. That just seems to be silly. Do you want to get in the elevator? Or are we just, are we just soft-locked? Like, what's the... Uh... Cool. Good stuff. <clears throat> no rush, dude. No rush. I mean business. I couldn't move. I was locked on that spot while we had to wait for him, which is why I was thought I might be soft locked because five minutes if you could find a manager. If he wasn't gonna move, we were just stuck there forever. Now we've got to go and find the manager we've already found. And hope his AI doesn't get fucking stuck in the doors. Bill, things still sweet? Sure. Everything's real quiet. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. Worst heist ever. Yeah, Cam is completely useless because he doesn't know how to fucking crack open a fucking, ironically, a can of fucking beans. I said nobody move. Like I said, this this heist is a genuine fuck up. It's the worst heist in Grand Theft Auto. If you look at Tommy Vassetti's like fucking, it's like the the line. decisions he makes and stuff like that, he's actually like the you worst know, protagonist. Like he he makes terrible Just decisions. Key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. Imagine that. Check All we need is your back. key code to open the fucking safe. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? So yeah, like Cam's presence is entirely unhelpful. I told you not to touch that alarm! Squat team will be here any minute. I can do with some help here, Tommy! Are these like Commodore pets or something? They're quite, quite old school. Like city, what? You are completely surrounded. 
surrounded. <laughs> They're crapping themselves. The rotten bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay. Hello, Needle. I like the fact that Cammy's very proud of the fact that he opened the safe. What the? That's the last of them. Go, go, go! Pro tip for this mission: when he says that's the last of them, he's lying. There are more. And if you run out now, you're gonna get your fucking ass handed to you. So, don't do that. Actually, there is a technique, which I forgot to use, which is where you can hide behind this glass. And you can shoot through the glass, and they can't shoot you. Is there anybody left? Is that a dude? Okay. Are you just fucking, come on, move. Shit, where's Hillary? I'll give him abandonment issues. Hey guys, get in, I got you covered. Well, guess what, Hillary's dead. My tire just popped, let's fucking go this way. Because I've got 26 health, I don't have enough health to dick around. Phil, come, come here, you dick. Could you possibly spawn me a fucking four door, please? I'll do. Oh, that's a fucking two-door car as well. Fuck. Bollocks! I'm gonna die. I just need a four-door car. Why won't you spawn a four-door car? What the actual fuck is happening? Fucking two-door, two-door, two-door. Why are they all two-door? Fucking taxi, that'll do. Oh my fucking god. Completely out of my control, that. Like, complete, com not even remotely in my control. Now we've got to do the whole thing again. If the other guy had got hit by a car, it would have been fine. Great. Um, th it's true. I could have just got it. I could have just taken Phil in the two door, I guess. But there was a lot of gambling on the AI behaving itself for that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it just happened to just collide, fucking snooker table style, a car into Phil and insta kill him. Keep 
driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Jesus. I guess we can make slightly smarter choices this time. This is a raid. Well, I I could I should have just used that like glass glitch. Everybody up against that ball. rather than just getting my health drained by the fucking SWAT team. Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, Roger that. Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Come on, Cam. The vault's upstairs. You know how to break into a vault, right, dude? You're the main man for that, right? It's a flangey 9000. It's a flangey 9000. minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. The other thing as well about that is like anyone sensible planning a bank heist would have worked out what kind of safes they use anyway before they actually went in. Bill, things still sweet? Do you know what I mean? Everything's real. Like if you'd done your due diligence You'd have bribed someone, or you'd have done something to figure out what kind of safe they were using. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. So that you knew before going in that Cam was just a piece of fucking garbage that didn't know what he was doing. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need Oh, he to bypasses the time lock, so I guess Cam does have a function. Anything and you're dead. I'm going to check on Phil. I'll be right back. I guess Cam is useful after all. I'll let him I'll let him off. Um I told you not to touch that alarm. The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy. Relax, dude. I'm on you. I've got you. Oh, I've got to get into this marker first. Because reasons. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place! Take cover! Look out below! Get up, you prick! Is there a different gun that has to work? Okay, this usually works. Maybe it's the... Do you want to just, like, shoot the fucking... Yeah, it does work. Okay, they just got lots of health. I think it works. Maybe that doesn't work in defensive as well. If I have to kill you, I will. Okay, we we still got tons more health than we did. Oh, well, we did until I let him fucking drain half of my armor. Jesus.
Are we re really just waiting on you to figure out how to get down the fucking stairs? Okay, Jesus Christ. You've got to babysit the AI so much in this game, it's crazy. That's the last of you. Go, go, go! We might be able to just make a play for the taxi now, because I've got enough health. Good job, Hill. Go, 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 go. Well, you just got to insta boss me. Let's just go. Fucking pop tires, obviously. All oh, the cars on fire. Get out, Phil. Run the fuck away. Fucking pop tires again. I'm gonna leave it because it's midnight. Um, we'll come back to that tomorrow. But this, my friends, is a rage quit. Uh, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Call the shovel a spade. It is. Um, So, we should be able to complete the game in the next stream because we basically just need to do this mission, the print works, and then the final mission, and then I think that's pretty much it. We can potentially do Phil Cassidy's missions in that space of time as well if they pop up. Um, yeah. So, we're, near, we're, near, we're in the final stretch, more or less. Oh, chimpanzee that, it's monkey news. Have you not seen Fallout, Zach? You need to get on Fallout immediately. It's so good. A solid 9 out of 10. We could actually make a video out of reviewing that. In our pod podcasty style. Because it is tangentially video game related for once. We should have done that with The Last of Us as well, really. Maybe that's what we should do. We should just do like a series where it's just podcast style us reviewing video game adaptations of shit. We could do Fallout. We could do The Last of Us. We could like tear the shit out of the shit Halo thing. We could do like the movies, Mario movie, Sonic movie. We could do like the terrible Mario movie. We could do like, could do all of the stuff. Yeah. And some, there's some mileage in that. And it's easy to make because we just sit there and talk for an hour. Job done. Easy cut. We could make a podcast out of that. Yeah, we could, well, the TV series, like the the uh, the the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Can we review that? If we do that, we have to review Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is probably the best and worst TV series of all time uh, at the same time. It's, it's phenomenal stuff. There was a Zelda TV series as well at one point, if I recall, which was equally as bad. Um, you could go into a very dark rabbit hole with that idea, but we should concentrate on good stuff like Fallout, I guess. Uh, sweet. Right. I'm going to go. Good night, everyone. I'll uh, probably see you tomorrow, I think. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe Friday. Not sure. Anyway, bye now.